questions, which he can claim he coerced. Well, is there any indication that there was coercion or proof that he really did taint cases? His record on the job is spotless. And how does a detective phony evidence on 41 homicide suspects and not draw attention even once? It's not possible. Cerullo is lying to back us into a corner. And it's going to cause every defense lawyer that he ever faced to file a motion for a new trial. And we'll waste hundreds of hours re-prosecuting. Which is unfortunate. But unless he did a murder, why throw up a smoke screen? He planted the gun on Fleckner to claim self-defense. Do you have enough for a conviction? We'll need more. Bob has been with me every second of this nightmare. I don't understand why you think I'd speak ill of him. What if you thought he had committed a murder? Is this gun you're talking about? Sounds like Fleckner could have gotten it any number of ways. The only way was from Bob Cerullo, who planted it. If you make a statement, he may be more inclined to make a deal. That could save him 10 years in jail. Whatever you feel about his intentions, Mrs. Messick, Bob Cerullo had no right to dole out justice to Jay Fleckner. You know what? I don't think I should talk to you anymore. Understand, it's not you we're looking to incriminate. I'm sorry, but on the advice of my lawyer, I'm going to invoke my right to the Fifth Amendment. Valerie's husband rubbed elbows with the mob. She might know things. Testifying could put her in a vulnerable position. I don't think it was just self-preservation. If she knows Cerullo murdered Fleckner, She's stonewalling to protect him. Well, either way, history has taught us we can't rely on her to make the case. We won't. We didn't have a reason to search Messick's house before. We do now. I'll get a warrant. Philip Messick was a very smart man. He kept an insurance policy, a black file that somebody buried in his backyard flower bed. Information on his associates? Yep, and all the dirt bags he worked with, including his friend, Bob Cerullo. Now, our forensic accountant is just getting into this, but so far we know that Cerullo sold guns and stolen property to the mob. Messick was the go-between. This guy kept track of everything. Guns, jewelry, electronics, prices, dates, who sold what. Is Cerullo identified by name in here? Name and badge number. Right next to another name, Wayne Dumar. So Dumar and Cerullo were business partners selling stolen property. Exactly. And you'll notice that Cerullo's income doubled when Dumar went toes up. Well, it doesn't prove he killed him. Make a convincing argument in court. What we can establish is that Dumar was criminally linked to Cerullo. And Dumar ties to the gun found at Jay Fleckner. Right. Which leads right back to Cerullo. It's the best evidence we have so far that he planted the gun. What's this? Trying to coax us into a plea? This book ties Cerullo to the gun found on Fleckner. No one's going to believe it's self-defense. A lot of wiggle room between Dumar and that gun. Juries aren't stupid. Really? We must be working different courtrooms. No way they hang my guy for killing that piece of crap. And my client won't bite on your offer. Now you really want to talk. I'm calling your bluff, Mr. Krahulik. You don't think he's serious? All of your cases come undone. And you'll be suborning perjury. We both know the charges are bogus. It'll take a full-scale investigation to bear that out. Pending new trials, of course. In lieu, I'll take my client at his word. We're prepared to go to trial. If your client gets on the stand and lies about his old cases, prepare to go to jail with him. Your shaky case just became your major headache. This was a brutal and horrible way to die. Crime never stops.